Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Santa Anita Park, Arcadia, California on Thursday, November the 3rd, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Southern California Racing Report. Let's take a look at race 7 this afternoon, folks, 4.07 p.m. Pacific Post Time. It's a mile test on the turf. Phillies and mares, three years old, and up race for an optional claiming purse of some $48,000. Contenders number 8, last sting. Number one, Princess Suances. Number five, Kayana. And number six, So Bell. Number eight, last thing, is hit the board in power run fashion in four straight, including a power run win in her third race back. Number one, Princess Suances has turned in power run performances in each of her last five outings, hitting the board in a pair, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Race 7 summary, number 8, last sting, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 1, Princess Suanis, number 5, Kayana, number 6, So Bell, 8156, and the 7th from Santa Anita. Bonus long shots, Woodbine, race 7, the 12th, the 1, Bomb, number 6, Not So Green, Decent overall speed for this sprint at the specialized distance of seven furlongs on Woodbine's cushion dirt track. Charlestown, race eight, number 10, Henry the Lover, nine to two in the morning line. Qualifies as a track master plus power pony. He's the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field. Sprinting at seven furlongs on the dirt. Finger Lakes race course, race eight, the 10 to one bomb, number seven. Remarkable Storm, the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field. Racing at or about today's distance of a mile 70 yards on the dirt, has posted a trio of power run wins in its last five starts. So from Santa Anita on a Thursday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.